What's going on, all my fellow tube heads out there in YouTube land? Evil Eddie, aka Cyber Ray 1976, coming at you today with another DVD VHS Blu ray update for you. I've got two to do, so be sure and tune in for part two. Part two, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Scarefest last weekend with Movie John 75 and Scott from Scott Slasher World. And uh, we also met up with Justin Ryan 1988, and we also met up with Josh Terry. And we all just kind of hung out together for the day and uh, had a good time. But first, I just want to show you my regular update. And uh, I've got a, uh, mostly mostly DVDs. Got uh, one VHS and one Blu-ray. So uh, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what I picked up. First thing is, I picked up City of the Living Dead by Lucio Fulci. Uh, I had a burnt copy of this already, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one. Um, I really like the cover art on this. I always remember seeing this box in the video store as a kid, and it always kind of stuck with me and kind of freaked me out and uh, so yeah uh, this is I think one of Lucio Fulci's better movies I think this and the beyond is probably his two best films he ever did two of my personal favorites uh, so I went in and picked this up this is uh, put out by the Blue Underground the dead shall rise and walk the earth uh, picked up um, Silent Night Deadly Night the uncut and the uncensored version now there is a regular version of this. It's not too hard to find. But from what I understand, these right here are pretty rare. I uh, did a little research and looked them, and uh, I could only find two of these on eBay, and they went both went for $50 a piece. So uh, I had this on VHS already, but I went ahead and, and I wanted to see the uncut and the uncensored version of this film because it is a classic. And uh, it's a good one to watch uh, right around Christmas time with uh, with uh, Christmas coming up here soon. So I may pull this one out for the grandparents and uh, when they come over. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and picked this up, and I was glad I did because come find out it is kind of hard to find. So I uh, picked up uh, a trilogy of terror, if you will, with the next three. Um, I only had the first one on VHS, so I went ahead. And I found all three at one time, so I found uh, the original Amityville Horror from 1979, Amityville 2, The Possession, and Amityville 3D. Now these are the only three Amityville Horror movies I've ever seen, ex uh, except for the remake, uh, which I thought was actually pretty good. But um, I really like these. I thought I thought all three of these were actually pretty good. Now there's a total of ten Amityville horror movies all together because they just kept making them and making them and making them. And I haven't seen any of the other ones except for these three in the remake. But my my friend Chris, I think he has almost all of them, and he really likes them. So um, I don't know if I bother tracking those down or not. But this is the main three that I really wanted to get for my collection. I had this on VHS already, and it's. Uh, but I really liked it, and I got this. And uh, actually, speaking uh, speaking about my friend Chris, he actually gave me this on DVD. I I really like this film. It's an uh, apt pupil, and it's based on a Stephen King story. It's not really a horror movie per se, but um, I guess you could in a way call it a horror movie. But it's more of a suspense thriller, is what I would categorize it as. <clears throat> Uh, this was the only George Romero film, uh, his zombie film, that I didn't have, Diary of the Dead. Uh, this film is okay. Uh, I, I liked it better than uh, Survival of the Dead, but as far as the rest of his zombie movies, it's my least favorite, except for, except for Survival of the Dead. This was okay. Um, it's shot in first-person view. It's a... Uh, Kind of like a first-person account of what's happening during the you know the big zombie outbreak. So it's decent. It's not bad, but it's not great. And I found both of these at the flea market a couple of weeks ago. Picked up Lost Boys: The Thirst, which is the third movie in that series. And believe it or not, I actually really like this movie. Um, of course, it's not as good as the original, but is it better than Part 2? Hell yes. Way better than Part 2. And it feels more like an actual Lost Boys movie. It feels more in tune with the original 
uh, has some really cool flashbacks and um, I thought this should have been the sequel this should have been part two in my opinion the second one uh, the tribe should have never been made this should have been the sequel to the original actually pretty good surprised me I, I actually really liked it and I picked up the A-Team the new one uh, this isn't um, officially out on, video, on DVD yet uh, this I think this is a, uh, an overseas copy it plays just like you know a regular DVD though but uh, if you've not seen this, uh, it's I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of the original series from the 80s uh, with Mr. T and the rest of the guys, then you're going to love this movie. It's an awesome movie. It's got a great storyline. It's got some good acting. And it's, I love the characters. Everyone plays their part really well. It's a really fun movie. Um, I give this one, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this one uh, at least a good, strong, solid 9 on a scale of 1 to 10. That's how much I liked it. <clears throat> picked up the first season of Tales from the Dark Side, the series. Uh, I finally got all the Tales from the Crypts. So now I'm going to work on getting all the Tales from the Dark Side. And I think there's only three seasons of this, if I'm not mistaken. So I still need to pick up season two and season three. But this one actually has all of my favorite episodes on it. So um, I'll get series, you know, season two and three later on down the line. But I was real happy to get this. It has 24 episodes on it, and um, every one of the episodes that I can remember watching that I really liked, it has all of them on the first season. So I was real happy to find this. And uh, when I picked up Tales from the Dark Side, I went and picked up the, the fourth season of Robot Chicken on DVD. Um, this completes my series of this. Uh, Robot Chicken is hilarious. Uh, if you're a kid, especially like me, if you're a kid from the 80s and you grew up with a lot of the toys and stuff uh, from the 80s, Transformers and He-Man and Thundercats and GoBots and G.I. Joe and that sort of thing, they they do a lot of animation with those sort of things, and it's hilarious. Uh, so uh, pick, out, uh, pick up Robot Chicken if you haven't watched it yet. Picked up Swamp Thing with Adrian Barbeau, who I got to meet last week at Scarefest, which you'll see more about that later. And I really like this cover. I like how it how it moves. Speaking of which, I picked up the special edition of Carrie, also with a cool cover. I had this on VHS also, along with Swamp Thing, but I went ahead and picked up the special edition of it on DVD. And of course, most everybody's probably seen Carrie. I would hope so. Picked up Twilight Zone, the movie. Uh, they had this one at Walmart for like $7. Uh, it's one of my favorites as a kid. I, I think they used to show this on HBO like every other day growing up as a kid. And I used to watch it every time it come on. So this is one I never get tired of watching. And I picked up Alien Resurrection. This was the only one I needed on DVD for my Alien collection. Now I finally got the, got the whole set. Um, this one is actually my least favorite out of all of the Alien movies. Um, it's it's not bad, but it's nowhere near as good as the first three. And a lot of people didn't like the third Alien movie, but I did. And this is actually my least favorite, but it's still still a pretty good movie. Picked up E.T. Of course, everybody's seen E.T. Been wanting a copy of this on DVD for a while. And the only Blu-ray I picked up was Toy Story 3. I had the first two. Went ahead and finally picked up the third one. And last in this video update, I picked up Witchboard 2 on VHS. I had the first one on DVD. I found this one on eBay for really cheap for like a buck forty-nine. Went ahead and picked it up and I actually really like it. It's from the same guy that did the first one and the original Night of the Demon. So it's really good. And that is all I have to show you in this video update. Be sure and tune in for my next video update, which is I'll show you what I picked up at Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky last weekend. So uh, thank, you, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it, and be, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.